my love is real Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Late o'clock, body talk There's no need to bring it Hey guys, it's another beautiful day here in Paris, and uh, I'm here with my friend Eve, and uh, we're on our way to one of his favorite bakeries. It's actually apparently um, rated number one for a croissant um, here in Paris, and it's called Chez Meunier. Correct. Um, I said it right, thank goodness. Um, but we're going to go and grab some breakfast and I'm excited to try it out because uh, as you know um, I've been dying and I've been talking about it actually on my vlog to go back to France to eat some croissant so uh, I actually mentioned last in one of my other vlogs that Eve we went to I think it was Tartine uh, to get a you know a croissant and now he's taking me to the, the real deal. Not saying that Tartine doesn't have the real deal, but I'm here in Paris, so I uh, just gotta put that out there. So anyways, I'll see you guys at uh, Chez Meunier, and I will uh, show you what we are about to get. See you guys there. Oh, that place was amazing actually when we we just got in there uh, it just started to fill up it literally just started to fill up um, we, we as soon as we walked in there was a line out the door um, but uh, we did get a few things to try uh, to go when we go back to the uh, the apartment uh, we got a plain croissant a chocolate croissant a apple puff pastry and then we also uh, got um, a uh, coffee Eclair. So I'm really excited to try it out. Um, my jet lag is still kind of hitting me, so sorry if I'm a little like Ugh, all over the place, but uh, I'm sure this will give me some energy uh, because it looked amazing there as you guys saw. So uh, I will go ahead and uh, show you guys what we got and I'll see you at the apartment. All right, so um, we just got back to Eve's um, apartment here and um, I am about to try the chocolate croissant um, and then the eclair, um, but uh, Eve made me a nice little cappuccino slash espresso. Um, you know, nice. You know, the cool thing about um, European people, they always have the espresso machine handy. Uh, you know, we usually have our like, you know, um, uh, well, we have a Nespresso, um, not as good. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, but also um, they usually you know have uh, some really good beans in the house so let's go ahead and give this a try um, first I'm gonna get a taste of coffee because I haven't had any coffee this morning and the coffee's always good fantastic Eve thank you so much <laughs> you are you are the best barista I've ever had um, all right let's get into digging into the chakra sun All right, so in my last video in Tartine, you know, the the croissant's really good. So a, a good sign of a good croissant is the layering, right? So I just took a bite, but the layering on there is how you know that croissant's really good. You never want to see it being flat. That just means that you're eating bread. So, you know, so, you know, proper puff pastry, um, but the chocolate's really good. It's not overpowering. You know, you don't want to have it super filled with chocolate. Uh, that's when you're eating a cake. Um, so this is really, really good. Um, um, your chocolate is proper. It's kind of like, um, it's usually like a dark chocolate. You never really see a milk chocolate. And if you see a milk chocolate and a croissant, I'm going to tell you right now, that just doesn't work. I mean, I could see like a hazelnut or something like that if it was like a proper dessert, but this is a, this is definitely, um, authentic, but 
Again, this place was voted best croissant in Paris, and um, you saw the award that they got, but I've got to tell you, Eve, uh, good job on um, fine croissant. I, of course, of course, uh, I would leave it up to you to uh, find the croissant place because knowing this guy for what almost oh, almost twenty years now, a little bit more. Yeah. Wow, twenty yeah. years now. Um, you know this guy. Every time I look, I look. Uh, you know, I'll turn around and look back. He's eating a croissant. I mean, this guy. <laughs> I've never seen a guy who is so passionate about a croissant. So great job. Uh, I'm gonna take another bite because it's freaking amazing. Um, I'm gonna try this coffee eclair. Um, proper eclair, you know, um, you can't imitate this uh, anywhere else. Um, you know, people have tried, I've tried it. So I'm excited to try it out here once again in uh, Paris. Uh, it's been a while, so um, I'm just happy to be here with Eve. Let me go ahead and give this a try. Mm. It's not dry. It's really moist. On the inside, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but basically um, it's like a coffee filling. It's kind of creamy. Um, definitely, definitely you can taste the coffee. So it's not like an imitation taste. It's actually real um, coffee. And um, yeah, it's really damn good. <laughs> um, so. Come, when you come to Paris, um, please make sure to, man, my mouth is full, sorry. I took a big bite, it's so good. Uh, please come check uh, um, Chez Meunier. Um, and uh, that is gonna be about 25 minutes uh, walking from the Champs Elysees, uh, about 10 minutes away from the 17th arrondissement, right? Um, so definitely worth your um, your uh, walk there, or you can take even the, the uh, subway. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we are good to go. So, anyways, um, I will go ahead and uh, see you guys in the next place. All right, so um, we are here at uh, Ponton, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's a little market. As you can see, there's Kevin hanging out. Looks like a statue, um, but pretty nice. As you can see, lots of cool pastries, um, just good stuff, uh, yeah. aged cheese. Apparently the cheese is aged 36 months, so uh, you know, it's three years. Um, it looks like some type of cheddar. It looks like there's pastrami in my in my salad, um, and also some pine nuts um, and cabbage. So, uh, it looks really good. We got a little side of bread um, as well, as usual in, in Europe. Um, you don't see that much of that in the States anymore, um, but it's pretty good. And then Kevin here, I think he got a, a Caesar, but what's on the Caesar? Uh, what's on the Caesar? It's like, a, it looks like little fish, or is it, no, it looks like onions, fried onions. No, it's fried onions. Yeah, it looks like fried onions, so um, as you guys saw, it looks really good. So this place, is, like I said, is on top of a, um, a department store. Um, there's a famous chef, I, I can't pronounce the name of the chef. Uh, Laurent Dubois. Laurent Dubois, as you heard the professional here. Um, my French is, uh, 
I'm working on it uh, as we speak. Um, but at the same time, though, this is a little light lunch that we're getting before we go somewhere else. So um, hopefully, like we see. So um, we just ate our food inside, but we asked to see if we could go ahead and eat our, or sorry, drink our coffee outside um, because I will tell you, look at this view. That is, I believe the Eiffel, nope, the Eiffel Tower is that way. You can see her right there. I'm not pointing, correct, there I am. You want to hide my head now. Anyways, there it is. Um, so beautiful view. Let me show you guys. I mean, right here in Paris. Excuse the wind if you hear the wind, but it is a little stormy out here today. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, this is pretty nice. It was a good suggestion uh, from my friend Kev, uh, but yeah, I can't complain. I mean, look at his view, so beautiful. So I recommend you come on over here to Printemps. Uh, I'm probably butchering a name in French, uh, Printemps. Um, but uh, it's uh, up above, uh, well, it's a department store, but it's also, there's a restaurant on top. So uh, hopefully you liked what you saw, um, and let's go on to the next spot. I didn't know this. Uh, me and my wife came here about four or five years ago, but I think it was next door. So they have about four of them. Uh, they're all specialized in uh, different cuisine. The one this one specializes is uh, more like meats, like a duck, um, little small tapas, uh, meats, like so duck. What else they have? Croquettes, uh, foie gras, uh, all this other, all this French food, but pretty cool. We just ordered two dishes. Uh, a duck uh, hot dog. Never had that before. And then we also had uh, uh, okay. So, uh, But the duck hot dog um, is going to be my go-to right now. I'm excited about that. I've never had a duck hot dog. Uh, shout out Mark. I know you like the duck too. Um, but uh, at the same time though, I'm excited to uh, try this out. And then possibly, if, I mean after this bottle of wine, I think Maybe I want some seafood after, most likely. So we'll check it out. All right, I'll see you guys uh, uh, when we get the food and uh, hopefully like what you see. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again. But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave, so there you go. All right, so uh, try the coquette. As you saw, I kind of like just pushed on it and it opened up for me. Uh, it has a little bit of ham inside and as you know, it's a crispy outside dough. And then here's uh, a, um, oh, there, oh, that just fell on my hand, but it is, I don't even see that, but it is creamy inside. So, gonna check this out. Mm. 
really good. Really, really creamy. Um, the ham in it, really good. So it's like cheesy inside with a little bit of cream, but really good. All right, so I just got my uh, duck uh, hot dog and it is looking amazing. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to focus that later, but anyways, I'm really excited. I'm kind of speechless because I've never had a duck hot dog and I love duck. Um, I like, you know, duck in any form. I mean, the Chinese duck, uh, uh, you know, the, um, the, the French duck. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, but it uh, looks like it has, uh, looks like it has kind of like onions on top with chives and then some type of uh, aioli or, it look, doesn't look like mustard, but it looks like an aioli. But the bread looks fresh too, so let's give it a try. I gotta get a napkin, but it's freaking amazing. Oh my God. So, <laughs> you guys keep laughing, but I'm like, in France, uh, French have the, some of the best food. They know how to mix and match. I, I really respect, you know, the way that French uh, cooks. They they integrate a lot of different um, different ingredients and also how they um, make make everything you know taste you know, different. But they use the same ingredients and um, it's respectable. Um, I would never think to eat a duck hot dog, but here I am. Um, in Paris eating a duck hot, duck hot dog. So first time for everything and um, you know, I'm excited to be here and uh, hope you like what you see. taste it out uh, so let's go ahead and do that it's got a little sweet with a little bit of acidic which is always good really good the sweet and the acidic balance each other out the acidic not too much sometimes ceviche can be too heavy with lime I find that with a lot of like uh, Mexican um, ceviches or you know uh, South American ceviches they're a little bit too he lime heavy but this is definitely not how do you like the um, how do you like the tuna it's very good very yeah. fresh you can try it you try it all right I'll just try just a little bit it's on there yeah so the raspberry so it's just raspberries in this uh, this tuna so it's basically like a poke um, but I'm excited to try it out. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can. You can't. Too bad. It tastes good. It looks good. Oh yeah. So it's really fresh. The cool thing is that I can taste the raspberry seeds. So you have a little bit of crunchiness in the raspberry seeds. So it's really good. And then now I'm going to try um, the anchovy. He's not a big fan of the anchovy. You want to try some? No. Uh, he's a, he's a, I'm good. I'm good. So anchovies are kind of a choir taste. I like fresh fish, I like raw fish. Um, you know, I can eat sashimi and all that good stuff uh, pretty pretty often. Um, but let's give this a try. I'm sure it's hopefully a little salty. That's what, you know, that's what usually you get um, with anchovies and that's what I like, so. 
and that's exactly what you get. So, <laughs> so the anchovies are really, it's really um, salty, but it's refreshing. Um, I can tell that already it will pair good with the white wine that I'm drinking. And um, yeah, this is pretty much everything that I thought it would be in root side. So come check out uh, Le Comptoir, uh, La Mer, and then also there's a meat one next door here in Paris. And they're really nice here. Um, as you can tell, uh, they are very uh, courteous and, and great service here. So uh, please uh, check them out and um, hopefully you like what you saw. All right, so we are here in Pigalle and um, we are outside this shop right there. Uh, it's called Dumbo and they have uh, some of the best burgers. As you can see, there was a line forming right there. and. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm excited to try this uh, burger out. Um, I'm here with the crew here, uh, and uh, they suggested it, um, so uh, they really believe in this burger. So I'm excited about it, and uh, we're gonna check it out. So we ordered, uh, we just ordered. Um, it was uh, cheeseburger. They only have like two things on their menu, so when they're specialized in something like that, it's usually a good sign. So we got French fries and a cheeseburger. So hopefully, like what we see, we'll check it out. All right, hold on, so. All right guys, so uh, we just got our food. It was about an hour wait. This burger is gonna be like the best burger of my, the best burger of my entire life. Um, I've never been so hungry. It's probably gonna taste really good because I'm hungry. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I'm excited to try check it out and uh, this is definitely uh, worth the wait. So let's uh, see what it's all about. All right, so we finally got our burger. Um, move this back a little. Okay. All right, so we finally got, got our burger, and uh, dude, thank you, Alex. Yeah. Uh, it is looking fantastic. It's a little smash burger with some cheese. Very plain, you don't get the onions or anything like that. Uh, so let's see how this compares to In-N-Out. All, all the California watchers are like, uh, what? I don't uh, know about that. <laughs> let's give this a try. Oh, dude, that is fantastic. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> dude, yeah. it's fantastic. Better than In N Out? Mm. It's, it's, so it's different. Um, See, I told you. So, wow. This is definitely better than Shake Shack. Mm -hmm. This is more like a, more like a artisan burger. Remember, In N Out's uh, more of like a fast food. In N Out is high fast food. It's a good, good fast food, but this is really good. You can taste, um, the meat a little bit more. It's not like saturated in, in like in like yeah. uh, sauce, but this is the plain the plain burger uh, with some onions on top. Uh, there is a look like, like a little bit of sauce in there. Is that sauce? There's ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions. See, yeah. So there's so there's 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 like a light sauce. So it's not like smothered in it, um, but really good. So um, if you're out here in Paris, uh, come check out Dumbo. Um, it's right here in Pigalle and uh, Pigalle. Pigalle. Oh, see my French man. Pigalle was <laughs> Pigalle. Uh, Pigalle. Excuse me. Um, but check it out, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my burger. So uh, let's get on to the next spot. I'll see you guys there. Just got to Quick and uh, uh, just a little bit of a story about Quick. So when I was going to high school uh, in southern France, uh, this is the fast food chain that I went to uh, growing up. So this, so Quick is a is a French fast food uh, chain that is kind of like McDonald's. It's like their McDonald's. Um, unfortunately, they're kind of disappearing. Uh, so I'm excited to be able to try it and uh, back again and to be able to experience one more, once more. Um, but 
Uh, place is popping. This is on the Champs Elysees, um, but we ordered uh, just ordered a, a menu giant, and um, that's basically their Big Mac. It's, a, it's like signature uh, hamburger, and then we also got some French fries and just like a um, like a meal. So um, check it out, and hopefully, like we see, but uh, definitely an iconic uh, fast food chain here in um, France. Just saw we just got the food. This is gonna be uh, a nostalgic, a nostalgic uh, thing for me. Uh, fun fact: you know, going out uh, when I went to high school in France uh, with my partner Eve here. He's super hungry. He's like, leave me alone. Um, anyways, um, with my partner Eve here, we uh, used to go out to the clubs in, in uh, Montpellier uh, when we went to school. And uh, when we when we um, would go home, it would be you know feeling a little good, and this would be one of our go-to places. Obviously, McDonald's too. They have McDonald's here too, but um, but this was kind of like an alternative for us. So um, it has a little bit of a special place in my heart because uh, to be honest with you, you know, as a kid, you couldn't really afford anything, and um, you know, this is a, a place where you could go and get some food. So, anyways. Um, I'm gonna uh, get eating, but I just wanted to show you kind of uh, a little bit of my past here. Um, and uh, can't wait to get to the next place. But this is it for Paris and for France. And so until next time, let's keep eating. Oh.